Is this, this thing, thing on? on? I spat chip into my thing and I can't get it out. Do you agree? Let's see. Your turn. Do I agree? On Kanye. Yep. So I have got... Oh, wow. Quite a bit, actually. More Seven. Six. Seven. All right. Kanye is still relevant only because of the constant controversy he creates. <laughs> no. I don't agree with that. I'd give that... I'd give it a... I'd give it a... Oh, I'd give it a three. <laughs> a three. I think that he is... So, like, it's not a strong disagree. It's just yeah. a normal disagree. Yeah, just a disagree. Like, I think that... Not a light disagree, not a strong disagree. Um, I think that everyone still knows that he's, like, one of the best um, artists, like, ever. I mean, like, all of his stuff is still known, but would he yeah. still be relevant? Yes, I think so, too. Because I think that, like... Kanye West's music is so influential and so transcendent that, like, when you listen to someone that's, like, really big right now, say someone like Travis Scott, mm. they could be like, oh, this came from Kanye West. Okay. It certainly helps that he is controversial, and I think he's sort of mm. slowed it down a bit. Yeah. Um, he's out of the public eye now, but... Um, Although I haven't heard anything about his divorce with Kim. Yeah. Kim, apparently it's very amicable. It's mm. very... They're being very friendly, but... uh that's very sad but yeah no I think he would still be relevant just because of um, just because of who he is yeah like he could disappear for five years and as soon as he does an interview again comes back it's yeah. popping off again regardless of controversy or no controversy that's fair I think it certainly um, adds to it but not only it's not strictly the only reason that's completely fair oh well I've, I've polished off all of those chips they were fucking good <laughs> in mine I've got three packets jeez I've got one up that way and then two that way. Which one do you want? This one's the one furthest away from me. Give me the give me the long skinny boy. Long skinny boy. Okay, I think you will actually like these ones. Alright. Hey, are the Smiths Poppables? Oh. Sour oh. chili and sour cream. No, sweet chili and sour cream. Alright, second question. Kim is a good fit for Ye. Well. Was. Yeah, I think so. I think that she was a... Uh, I think that's a... Uh, that's a seven. Mm. I think that Kanye, like, the perfect fit for Kanye West is someone that loves Kanye West. And I think Kim Kardashian legitimately did love Kanye West at one point. I and think I so think I, well, that we, to stabilized be fair, we still him. don't really know what happened between them. I so. think that stabilized him. Yeah. Um, but I would say the same for any, th any person that loved him. So I think, yes, she was. That's fair. A good fit. Okay. Perfect fit. Well said. Very well said. Do you think Kanye settled into the family life too soon? Mm, disagree. Three again. No. Okay. He's, I know he's old. He's old. But mentally, do you think he was ready? No, I think it was what he needed. Okay. I think he's even talked about it on his songs that, like, ever since doing that, he's had, like, a renewed outlook on life, no longer looking at women as objects, more as mm. something to to love and like you if, if he was like 25 then yeah I'd say yes even if he was like 30 I would have probably said yes but now he's what on the other side of 40 mm. but he's very close to it anyway and like his mother passed and yeah. he had all these things going on and, and I don't think that like Kanye West in the mental space that he is in now if he if he didn't have a family I think it, it would go extremely badly that's fair actually yeah so I think that it was Maybe because at the time when it first happened, it was like 2013. Like they weren't even really like, like he didn't have any of like these mental problems, or they weren't yeah. sort of as known. So maybe then, but like when you get to like 2018, 2019, and you see all the the stuff, yeah, then you sort of think about. Yeah, um, maybe. I feel like after losing his mum, too, he needed like that family connection. Yeah. Oh uh, yeah, that's fair. Especially his daughters, and and he has a son as well. But I think yeah. that. Like, his daughters... Well, his kids... Mm. Grounded him. Yeah. Helped him a lot. So, I, I disagree. I agree with you. The beef between Kanye and Jay-Z was a good thing for each artist. So, like, rephrasing that same question, do you think if they had continued working together, they wouldn't have garnered as much attention as they did by beefing? No. I'd say that's... That's a four... I think that 
they were both sort of already at the peak of their power. Like they had released Watch the Throne. Mm. What the beef was in like what, like twenty seventeen or something? Yeah. Like Jay Z's been rapping since the nineties. Kanye is like the early two thousands. They grew up together. Like it only really hurt the fans because since then, like Kanye the, hasn't released. Balls. Like neither are well the story of OJ. Maybe a little bit different. Story of OJ is one of uh, Jay Z's best albums. Uh, not the story of OJ. That's a song. Four forty four is the album. Um, but that that has nothing to do with Kanye. That's more talking about Beyonce and and their life. Mm. Um, but no, I think the fans are the ones that lost out on that one. I don't think either of them gained anything. Like people weren't like, oh, now I want to go listen to Kanye West or now yeah. I want to go listen to Jay Z. Um, and Jay Z's best songs are produced by Kanye West or I some of his agree best. With that. So losing that connection and and even if it's not produced by Kanye West, it's overlooked by Kanye West. Like there's songs where Kanye literally sung the songs for Jay Z. So Jay Z knew how to sing them. Yeah, like he'd be like, sing it exactly like this, and they were the songs that were like the biggest hits, like Izzo and songs like that. So I don't think either of them gained anything. I think they they lost. They lost so out on that. You one. think if they like continued going the way they were and didn't beef, they would have like got garnered more attention. They would have done some more hits together. Yes. They would have succeeded more. Yes. Okay, that's fair. I think they would have because. Watch the Throne when it first came out was like such a huge thing. Jay Z yeah. and Kanye West finally collaborated, not on just like one song here, one song there. Yeah, we got a, a whole album. project. And now that's probably never happening. And I think they could have struck while the arm was hot. But things get in the way, money. Mm. And obviously now Kanye West is richer than Jay Z, so yeah. he can hold that over him now. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think again, I agree with you. He is more influential in the fashion world than he is in music. No. I think... You don't think so? Because, like, no. earth tones are in now. Yeah, but... Baggy clothes. Comfort. Yeah, but that That's was always massive. a thing. Like, Eminem was wearing that shit at, like, the 2001 <laughs> bloody MTV Awards and shit like that. So, I don't think Kanye is all that influential. And one of the reasons is, in in the fashion world is because no one like people are bu were before Kanye West right in fashion like he's obviously got inspiration from one of his good friends yeah. um, Virgil um, in Off-White and Mesa Margiela um, and he's obviously worked with Gucci and um, Bape and all of that in the past Nike Adidas obviously where like Kanye West was like the first Kanye West yeah like there was no one before him that was sort of maybe T-Pain it was in the, sort of the same timeline. Um, certainly, T Pain was first in the uh, auto tune sort of world. Mm. But uh, the oh, and then you got Common, I guess, as well. Yeah, with but, the interior design world. Oh, Cameron, yeah. Um, <laughs> I always confuse them. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, Kanye West was sort of like the origin point for that sort of sound, right? Mm. Where people were wearing like sneakers before that like Michael Jordan is mm. obviously more influential than Kanye West but then I could argue that Kanye is like one of the first artists like musical artists to get signed yeah but so that, now like, if he hadn't would it have happened yeah but like it's not like everyone is signed now yeah yeah that's fair but, but like, like would we have the Pharrell Hughes like that's one example right fair enough mm. like you could you could point out like a few examples yeah right? yeah like how many people sound like Kanye West or how many people That's are influenced fair. it's like it's like a hundred to one yeah and then that just shows the influence and even not even standing like him that it's just from Chicago as well yeah like the fact that Kanye from Chicago this person's also from Chicago brings light to that person there you go so I would disagree okay on a two quite a heavy disagree <laughs> that is very heavy disagree his fan base is toxic I disagree Give it a four. Mm. Only because I think all fan base extremists can be toxic. That is fair. Like is fair. Taylor Swift, like you get those people that are yeah. like extreme, like Katy Perry, mm. Eminem. Like you get like Eminem like wrote about like people stalking him and shit. <laughs> yeah. Like like there is bad in everything. Like yay stands. Like that's what they're called. Yeah. 
and like because he's so big like it's just like the numbers right you got like 40 million followers yeah like more than one, one like is one percent of them are bad yeah is and that's like be, 40 people yeah 400 people i don't know math yeah 40 but, yeah but like <laughs> no is it 400 I don't know, maybe it's 4,000. Um, Could be four. But, like, if you have, like, 100 fans... Yeah, then, then it's there's only like four. less. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So, percentage-wise, maybe not, but in sheer numbers, yeah, probably. Yeah. But then I would say that they're probably not real fans either. That is true. Because, like, Kanye West, like, does not hate black people. Like, he doesn't, mm. like, go out of his way. Like, I could understand if it was someone like Eminem, where, like, half of his career was just, like, attacking people. Yeah. And like, oh, I do know that Kanye doesn't like paparazzis. Fair enough. But like, <laughs> I could see like an Eminem fan going to like MGK and be like, "Oh, you're shit. You're this. Yeah. You're that. Well, like, like who's a Kanye fan doing that to? Jay Z. <laughs> but no, I think if you're a fan of Kanye, you're a fan of Jay Z as well. Yeah. Um, but also like, whenever he's going through like something like sort of mentally traumatic, like any sort of um, what do you call it? Like a moment, an episode. An episode. Any episode that like he's a gone through. Episode. Yeah. The general consensus has always been I hope he gets the help he needs. Yeah, like I was meant to see Kanye West in New York mm. four years ago. Maybe five years ago now. Um, it was on New Year's Eve. We were going to go, or I was going to go. And then, but he came out. And he said he needed to go to the hospital. He, he hadn't slept. He had like sleep deprivation. He was dehydrated. All that stuff. It sucked. I didn't mm. get to see Kanye West in America. But like, I my first thought was like, I don't care as long as he's good. Yeah. And he's like ready to go again in two years, one year, whatever it is. Mm. And he came back out and he released um, more music and stuff like that. So I was disappointed. But you understood. I understood. Yeah. And I think real fans would be like that. Yes. Yeah, that's a fan. That's yes. someone who supports the artist. Yeah. All right, well done. All right, last one. Last one. All right. His worst song is still a work of art. No. That's something no, a, a no, yay no, stan no, no. would say. No. The <laughs> hard disagree on that one. <laughs> what do you reckon his worst song is? I'll play it. You'll play it? Yeah. If it's not this... You better not play Scoobity Poop. No, no, that's no, his no. best. No, that's that is funny though. <laughs> yeah, that, that is funny. No, what's it called? Lift yourself. Lift yourself up <laughs> off yeah. the seat. <laughs> no, it is called. That's actually There's a two. good song. <laughs> like, if you just cut out the Kanye bit, say, and the Scoopity Poop, and like just have the first bit, I'd listen to it. There's two. Hot and no, what is it called? Drunk and hot girls, and Barry Bonds. Let's play. Drunk what about and hot. ecstasy? No, nah, it's not bad. <laughs> This song is so bad. Is that it? <laughs> I think that's Moss Def. Okay. It sounds like an Eminem song that would get roasted. Like when he was doing his accents. Yeah, he, he's tried something here. It hasn't worked. <laughs> what is going on now? <laughs> Is that still him, the high yeah, pitch thing? Sure. <laughs> I literally skip this song when it comes on. What album is it on? 808s? Nah, graduation. Oh, okay. <laughs> that song is legitimately bad. <laughs> like if that was released by anyone else, they'd be called like the worst artist in yeah, history. That's fair. But like Kanye West isn't like uh perfect. He's not flawless. Oh no, definitely not. And like as a whole discography, he's got like a ten. He's got a couple tens, like mm. a couple nines, a couple eights, and then like that's like ninety percent of his work. And then he's got some fours and some fives and some yeah. twos. There's not going to be like uniform unless you release like a five song album, and then that's all you release ever. Yeah, you're never going to have like a full, like a perfect like, run. perfect record. Yeah. yeah, so I'd say that's a, zero, a one or a zero. No, that's fair. Well, that'll be the first zero then, I think. Yeah. <laughs> All right, well, be sure to tune in tomorrow because we have got my album review of... I know it's Marvy, but I forget the actual album name. End even, of the Earth. Didn't even know that came out. Yeah, because you reviewed his... Like, like the Sun Talk. Yeah. You gave it like a 10 or something. 9 or a 10. 
Yeah, it was somewhere between nine and ten. I don't know if it was nine and a half or not. But yeah, so obviously playing on that theme still, Sun, Earth. Yeah. Yeah. Be sure to tune in tomorrow for that. That's a wrap.